Hello everybody, it is Ranak from Lizard Gaming and after a full year, I'm back from the dead. Wow! Well over a year since the last time I posted a video. That is, uh, well that is very strange. Turns out that the first year of university and taking summer courses on top of that to round out the year of education takes a lot out of you when you're also trying to balance tons of other stuff. Well, luckily for you, I'm back. So, first things first, who are we? Well, we are Anakin Rottenland. I figured since this is my Back from the Dead tribute, might as well play as a necromancer. Now, I have very, very little idea how to play a necromancer. It should be entertaining to figure out how exactly they work and see if I can actually work with them. Let's see, what skills do we have here? Fertility rights. Higher undead population. Okay, so that's, that's the same. Summon lost souls. That sounds useful. Uh, I also haven't actually played this game since I recorded with Sir Jackass for, I think it was Sage and his pupil. Speaking of, what's happening with Sage and his pupil? Well, Sir Jackass didn't particularly like the game. I got it for him as a gift, and if he doesn't enjoy it, there's no real reason to continue forcing him to play it. So, unfortunately, there will not be an ending to the Sage and his pupil. Let's roll into our first combat. Now, in order to have some semblance of comfort as I did this, I chose to play as the Draconians. I'm not entirely sure if that is a wise move. We'll just have to see. Alright, basic push forward from the wall. Uh, from Wow, they really just grouped themselves up in there pretty tightly. Uh, this will allow us to hopefully set up some flanks. If I move my uh, Draconian Raptors here, they should be able to hopefully run around the edge here, but in order to prevent them from going too far, we gotta send in the Crushers to plug up that hole there. This hole here. Now that puts them in a very dangerous situation, so we gotta make sure that we uh, adequately and swiftly dispatch with these enemies, because otherwise these crushers are just gonna get absolutely uh, crushed. Let's see if we can get some early damage done as well. Early damage is the best damage after all. We do have a heal on dead spell, so thankfully we're not too far out of it. Let's see, we have a line of sight penalty there, and getting closer is not going to help us. Line of sight penalty. Yeah, this looks to be the best attack we can make is from here, so we're just going to launch these at the goblin skewers. I know it's spreading the damage out, which is not entirely something you want to do in tactical games like this, as anyone who has played Dungeons and Dragons will tell you. But it's the best I got right now. Uh, it looks like they're going to teleport their way and go straight for the babies. Oh no, they're going to try to web my leader and. Unfortunately, they are successful in doing so. Now, this is very unfortunate. Because that's two turns where we don't have our leader. And our leader is our primary damage dealer. But thankfully, the hostiles, I guess, suicided their way onto our crushers. Which means that this whole fighting maneuver with the raptors is probably moot at this point. But, if I do this... Pressure cannot do anything. Do not get a retaliatory strike. Wow, kill the babies, wouldn't it? But does it have the pus? Oh, it's not very likely to kill the spoiters either. So I get an opportunity to attack if I run away too, so we're just gonna have to fireball and pray, really. Uh That's a terrible way to start. Rebirth might just end in a swift death. Christ. Eh. Uh, oh well. So we lost one crusher. That is definitely going to dampen the war effort. But at the end of the day, it is something I think we'll be able to bounce back from. Yeah, screw you, wheelbarrow. 
but they like you anyway. Alright, so we got some slight damage onto our raptors, some heavy damage onto our crushers, as well as a dead crusher, which is unfortunate. Not to mention our leader did get riggedy riggedy wrecked, but hopefully we'll be able to work things out from here. So, I guess we'll just build right there. Probably should have gone and cleared this gold mine here so that way I could also run by and pick up that gold pile. But that requires me to floor plan, and uh, well, that is apparently not my particular strong suit today. We'll see how this goes though. We'll just go pick up the gold here. Right, so we really need to be able to replace. Needs an addition to 200 poppers. So is that basically like a dead man's farm? Uses mana. Huh. All right. So corrupt the source. Seek inspiration. What spell are we researching? Eleven turns until we get that. All right. Uh. Hmm. Start off with the builder's hall. Go to the Harvester's Guild in a laboratory. Does that sound reasonable? That sounds reasonable. I'm gonna do that. Ah! Bandits! Banditos! Those will be fun to fight. Uh, what do we got here? Three bandits. They're in the volcano. those damn walls. Uh, we break a wall. We'll break that wall there. It'll also prevent them from being flanked from any of the uh, dastardly arrow attacks. Alright, and we'll send the leader here. The Black Bolt. Zambies. Right. So we'll go here. Break that down. Come on, really? You're killing me, Smalls. as many counterattacks as possible. We could just send him in there. Go in there for glory. But that is why we have enemies. Alright, got zero retaliatory strikes from that. We were able to take out unit, thankfully, because it does not look good for the raptors. Oh god, they lived. Oh god, they lived. Quick, break it down, engage them in melee, stat. Wait a second, don't I have a heal on dead spell? Panicked choices are never good for the health of your army. Alright, so we got our babies leveled up. Thank the- uh, they're just- oh. Come on, man, what are you doing? They sprinted, didn't they? Yeah. Uh. Alright, so. We have lost our flanking unit. And a stormtrooper. 
We still have artillery unit and another stormtrooper and our leader. Uh, okay, I guess I guess that's pretty much replacement flanker. I guess it'll work. You are not undead. All right, we'll go say hi to those draconians. Hello. Uh. That way, next quest they give me, they will just, uh, they'll either give me good loot or just straight up become my vassal. And I'm hoping on the latter because, uh, I could use some good news. Alright, what do we got here? Nothing but spoiters. Spoiters? I don't like spoiters. I've got too many legs and too many eyes and not enough body segments. Alright, they have two. Fires of the moment two and six and three. Uh, some units offer to join. What do we got here? Uh, just a little babby. Sure, we'll accept the babby. How does? Did he just offer himself up to become a zombie? Like now that I actually think about what I just did to that unit, this is really morbid. Those, th those babbies, those new draconian hatchlings. They were not zombies when they offered to join my ranks, I don't think. So they were just like, they're cultists. I just accepted cultists into my army. Great, this'll... Way to go, Ranak. Way to go. All right, so the spires are doing a full frontal press. Uh, what do we have here? We have ourselves a pounce. Uh, entering guard boat afterwards. Hell yeah, and let me do that right now. We'll just send the babies over here, have them spit foyer at the uh, spoilers. These guys can uh, light protection, light protection. We'll send you right there. I think that'll work out in our favor. Unless those are the teleporting ones. Whew. Well, at least this time he resisted the webbing. Alright, overall, so far things have gone pretty well in our favor. That... Why do I even speak? It just... It's bad luck. here to finish off this spider here. Or I can not read before I click and assume that I will have full line of sight. But you know what happens when you assume, which in and of itself is an assumption and anybody who says this to people to their face ought to be shot. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? We have first strike? No, I'm getting the two strike. Alright, so those guys will certainly be dead. Let's risk it. They did. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like our uh, crushers here are about to join them. Spiders, man. I just... Uh, this is why you don't stop playing again. Why you don't stop playing a game for an entire year? All right, thankfully, the cheetah survived. What does that leave us with? Two artillery and a light flanking unit. Oh boy! Need to just heal. Uh, cause fear. Panic an enemy unit and click despair. Attacks. That includes ranged attacks. Okay. We'll do that. Alright. 
I so don't want to engage right now. I so don't want to engage right now, but I'm afraid of what happens if I don't. Can I get them to flee? They're not fleeing. Okay, run. Uh, uh, that didn't sound good. You shall die by my hand, weakling. Alright. You're nice. I like you. You are definitely someone I want to befriend. Have a peace treaty. They're gonna leave them. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna camp there for now. Quest! Tell me more about this quest. almost never do auto combat because it never ends well and uh, seeing as I lost my Tigran and a Babi that's evidence for that theory uh, oh well you have declined my proposal well screw you too buddy we did pick up a Tigran uh, Sun Guard though so at least we have another uh, tough guy to plug up some holes with. Am I really being ambushed right now? I can just wait. Man, it's a rough start. It's a hard knock life as a necromancer, let me tell you. This is uh, very unusual. Alright, so we just have a watcher shooting his petrification ray. I guess doom gaze is what they call it. Uh, getting right up and close there. Why? Total awareness. You cannot be flanked from attacks. Okay. Yeah, he gets an opportunity attack, so he could just turn. Not only can he not be flanked, but he can also do opportunity attacks. Just turns around and just beats you right in the face. Brilliant. Spirit protection, line of sight. Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going. We're, we're going in. We're going ham. He can't kill all of us. But he can apparently make short work of my leader. That's unfortunate. Catabar, go. It's okay, you are worthless to me anyway. Okay, so this will kill him. Maybe. That's not good. Never lucky rubber ducky. Wow, that was just absolutely... Well, it's dead now. Lost zero units, technically. And we got ourselves a better ranged unit. Time to walk back into that ambush they were oh so kindly setting for me. Uh, let's see what else can I put on here. Lifesteal. Lesser reanimate dead. Pro-life. And profile. Sure, we'll do, we'll do that. We'll pick up lesser re uh, we'll pick up lesser reanimate next level. Oh, and some units offer to join. I'm sorry. What are you? Charger. Oh, so I guess they are ghouls before I picked them up. So they're not cultists. Thank God, I guess. Right, 
right, now I gotta look around and see if I can find that other bandit camp. Really, you're just going to walk through my... Is there no respect? Yeah. You know, back in my day, people actually respected international borders, but I guess I'm just old-fashioned that way. Last I checked, it is impolite to just trounce straight through somebody else's territory. I mean, how rude is that? That is actions reserved for brigands and bandits. Guess Isabella is a brigand and a bandit. She'll be the first on my kill list. Alright, bandit's doing a basic charge forward. We'll send up the sun guard to plug up these holes here. Now, this does still leave them the ability to walk around here, but that does mean that they have to go long ways so I don't know it, it works out and these guys they have to go all the way around this rock so there ain't no way they're doing anything productive gonna finish plugging up this hole with my leader here. Get him all nice and defensive. Now watch, this is where they use their uh, sprint to just completely destroy my four babies. I feel like they chose that route just to taunt me. Uh, anybody else feel that? Look at this. They just intentionally run by- Oh, and you get a crit. Really? There we go. Now that we have all that damage done on here. To finish off the scoundrel here. Hopefully, not take a retaliatory strike. Or the bad luck can continue. Brilliant. Uh. Oh, those were the flamers that were killed, weren't they? Oh, I'm not allowed to have nice things, am I? Oh. that next. Race governance level up. Shrines are cheaper. Flamers get a shield. Or more armor and more health. How often do I plan on using flamers? Because they're certainly more useful than the uh, babbies. have enough tight damage to make short work of this. Which would definitely be nice. Alright, so we have three sprites. They're typically resistant to, uh, they are very resistant to physical damage. But, the babbies throw themselves some lovely fire, which is very nice able to get full damage there, and this guy throws a bunch of typed damages, one of which they're weak to. I'll have to suffer the uh, potential paralysis. Yay! Didn't get static shield. So we'll send you up there into melee, have you guard. Move the Cadvers up. That's right, they fly and teleport. Uh, of course they fly. I'm freaking staring at them as they fly. How could I? Uh, you ever have those moments where you just realized, wow, 
I'm stupid. Yeah, that was one of those moments. Anyway. We'll just withdraw there. And throw out tons of black bolts. You know, normally wisps give me the most problems, but uh... That ended up working out pretty well. Well, Wisps and the uh, Phantasmal Guards, but I haven't had to fight those yet. Alright, back to trying to find that bandit camp. That third bandit camp. And another player has lost. Wonder how many of these people are just being murdered by... Is that a monkey? Why do you have a monkey? Where did you get a monkey? Okay, uh... Produce a reanimator for the Support unit with raised corpse. Heal undead. No one wants to summon the banshees. This person is following me. Huh. That's really interesting. If nothing else, it's very flavorful. Aw, they're not gonna... Why aren't these units surrendering to me? I'll let them live, I promise. Please. Ooh, I'd like to see. Alright, uh, so they did nothing. And I have no cavalry units with which to reliably break the gates down this turn. So what we're gonna do... Gotta send the sun guards up to take some hits. Send in the infantile support regiments. The cadaver. Right now, the plan is to just bulk up on the front gate here. And hope that we get some good ones. Is really what it is. Thankfully, they're spl uh, thankfully they are splitting their... Uh, damage out, so I don't need to worry too much right now. That crippling is going to be, well, kind of annoying. Alright, let's open up the gate. Step one, get the ranged units in there to try and not have any sort of penalties from the site. send the cadavers in there to finish it. Now, unless the cadavers get killed, this... How have you guys sustained long enough to actually live? To get expert. Ah, damn it. Really? You're gonna throw that in there? That's just mean. Oh, well. could raise another one, or I could actually win the fight. I don't know, maybe I'm playing these guys all wrong and cadavers are like some central unit that I should be building the shit out of, I don't know. But I think what I'm doing, really, lucky bastards. So we lost the surprisingly high-level cadavers, and we get instead a dwarf prospector. So more range, mind control immunity. All right, throw that there. Time to get lesser reanimate dead, and we'll pair that with some spirit protection. All right. So. That'll be it for this one. Uh, we have at least gone through and gotten rid of nearby bandit camps. We met ourselves, 
a small little outpost. Hopefully we can get them to become a vassal under our protection. We could either pay for it. I'm trying I'm gonna aim to try to get his requests. Um Next step is to see if we can actually get this army to grow. We'll see if we can capture this uh, watchtower here. That'll be a very nice addition to our uh, empire. It'll let, let us see what's going on in our immediate vicinity. It is a small map with only the surface, so there can only be so much. And it looks like there's a river cutting this off either up through here or over here. So there can't be too much up there. Uh, we really have to find Isabel because this affrontery on my sovereignty will not be tolerated. Zombies are people too. I'm Ranag from Lizard Gaming. Thanks for watching.